What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Benil Dariush and Scott Holtzman. What a performance by Benil Dariush. Knocks out Scott Holtzman brutally with the spinning back elbow in the first round. Dariush is looking like a legit player at lightweight. He's really improved his game. His punch resistance is always something that people have questions. I don't think it's as bad as people have said. I think he's just been caught with really good shots. Puts a brutal beating on the very good Scott Holtzman tonight. Now, what does that hold for Benil Dariush? Ariush next. I'm excited to see. Let's check out these lightweight rankings. Let me quickly pull them up. And we can find Dariush. I believe he'll be in the top 20, even on ranking MMA. I think right there, 17. So he's very close to the top 15. Has that win over Scott Holtzman. I mean, yes, obviously he does have a loss to Alexander Hernandez, which kind of hurt his stock for a bit. But I think he's definitely bounced back from that. That was a while ago. Who do you put him up against next? Let's not forget, number 12 ranked Drew Dober. But Neil Dariush tapped him out, defeated him. I like the idea, maybe we do Leandro Santos versus Benil Dariush. How about that matchup? I think that that's a good fight for Benil. I think he could beat Leandro Santos, and I think it's a fun one, to be honest. And, and I mean, let's be honest, Leandro Santos is undefeated inside of the Octagon, and I think this would be the biggest test of his career, and I definitely lean Dariush out of the gate. But I will give two options, just in case they don't want to do that fight. You could possibly do if they really want to move him up and Ally Aquinto wants more of like a tune-up type fight in terms of the rankings. You do Ally Aquinto, Benil Dariush. Not saying that I don't think Benil Dariush could beat Al. I think he has a chance. I like that matchup. I'm saying those are the two that I'm picking. It's either Santos or Aya Quinta. I think they'll be very fun fights either way. I mean, Benil Dariush loves a good scrap. Now, for Scott Holtzman, let's see where they have him. They had him at 20. This is a disappointing loss, but I don't think it's like a career-breaking loss. I think it's just one that was tough. I say we do Scott Holtzman maybe versus Alexander Hernandez next. I think that's an intriguing matchup. I mean, Scott Holtzman might need to be out for a while. Alexander Hernandez is probably taking a break after the brutal beating against Drew Dober. So I'm going to say we either do the Hernandez fight or I will give a second option. I mean, you could, you know what? I'm going to throw the name Drakkar Close out there. He also lost to Benio Dariush by knockout. I think that's a fun fight between Holtzman and Drakkar Close. Either one of those matchups I think are really good. I think you have an exciting fight. And honestly, who knows who's, who's going to win? I like Scott Holtzman, though. I think he's a good fighter. I just think he ran into an absolute beast in Benio Dariush, who's really on the rise at 155 pounds and improving his game drastically. I was very impressed. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for Benio. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, follow my social medias, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.